Let's start with the first level, Theatrical Pursuits, where I had to deal with 31 different interactions to complete this level for story mode. And now we will see if we can do less than 31 interactions on free play. First, we have the stage. Usually, we would have to build these stairs to get up to Harley Quinn so we can fight her, but not here. I could just double jump on there or just fly up there. <laughs> you stay away from Mr. J! Now we're on the actual fight with Harley Quinn, but there's no difference. We need to defeat her either way, whether it's on free play or story, to enter the next area. After your battle with Harley Quinn, you gotta, in order to open that gate right there, you gotta use this save state thing that you see right there. And no, you can't pass it. I tried. Now in this room, in this rehearsal band room thing, you gotta go find Riddler, which is which, in which he's hidden in a tuba. Hide and sneak, Batman! But in free play, I can't get past that. Now in this next area, normally you have to go through this whole process of interactions just to get by this area right here. But instead of turning invisible and then seeking past the camera just to disable it, I did something kind of clever. I used the flash to run fast enough for the camera to um, not basically like not see me in time. Well, it would see me, but it wouldn't activate the trap in time. But then I had to activate the other side, or the, or the second player, to get him across because because my character would not stay. But then this area right here, which is the next area, I tr I thought I could fly over it, but I couldn't, because in the because in story mode you gotta grab on those two. But looks like I had to grab on them here again, too. After you pass the grapple hook stuff, you gotta go do these things in order: the X-ray, fight Riddler. Oh, you found me! And then the elevator. Well, you can't pass that in free play either. Oh, you found me. <gasps> now we're in this part of the level, and I thought I could just use your hands to just fly up there and get to the next part. But no, I had to bring out Two Face and fight him. <laughs> Man, am I pleased to see you? <laughs> no, not at all. But hey, look at the bright side. I could use Flash to pass those cameras and, um, not needing to use a sensor suit. But that's still three points because I disabled the cameras, destroyed those chairs to, bi to, to build a, uh, thing. Then I had to gain more interaction points because... I had to destroy something, build something, get a suit, and then put the staff in, in the socket so I can get up and then get Two-Face off the chandelier so I can fight him. Did you hear the one about the guy who dresses up as a bat? It's got a terrific punchline! We still have to fight Joker to complete the level on both story and free play, which means I had to fight Joker and use the X-ray to finish him off. <laughs> but unlike story mode in which we have to build a zip line and then use the zip line to complete the level, I could just fly right out of it without a zipline, and then level complete. In harboring a criminal, I had to interact with 51 things on story mode, 
In free play, I want to see if I can interact with less things. Free play here, well, it was quite simple. Unlike story mode, in which you had to like bounce all over the place. But at the same time, I also can't just go off. This part actually requires the helicopter to be built. But the bright side is that doing all this in free play is much smoother than it is in story mode. Well then now for the next area, this is a boss fight, so we're going to make that an immediate interaction. Because we can't pass it. Along with goons that we have to take out in order to make another hit on the boss. Now right here at the boss fight right here is much more simpler still than it is when you do it in story mode because in story mode you're basically walking into the line of fire. See what I mean? There's one thing you can actually do here that isn't in story mode, is that you could actually just fly instead of having to go through an entire painful process of of constantly dying just to get on top of that roof to sign on top of Joker. And there you have it, that is a level complete. Just like in Theatical Pursuit, Arkham Asylum Antics has the same amount of required interactions on story mode, but except this time we have very much less of it on free play. If you play this level multiple times, you know it doesn't take much interaction to just take out a character like Catwoman on her motorcycle. It'll, it'll be even less so on on free play, but still, the three vehicles we face here, let's give them all each an interaction point because I still have to go beat all of them to complete the levels. But first, I want to set the other traps for the next few vehicles. Starting off with this glass thing. And then the blow this up thing. So I can turn to eyes. Then I knock over the statue. completes a level. Playing through this level in story mode, I got a total of 69 interactions, which is, well, a lot. I don't even bother making intros like these for each part. But anyways, free play is kind of easy in this level. You don't interact with stuff much, but... Interaction isn't zero, you still have to interact with stuff to complete the level on free play. In story mode, you have to like go like basically back to back. One person has to be on the surface and one person has to be underwater to just to get past Kill Crocs' cell. But in free play, you can just well fly over everything and get to where you want to be. This area right here, I gotta take that out so I can e enter the elevator. And then I had to get the other character over so they can both use the pressure plate to get to the next area. 
while you're in the next area, in free play, you don't really have to go through this whole Lego Five Nights at Freddy's thing. You could just fly over the whatever toxin thing this is and over the fire then, well, this big area right here. So no interaction points at all. Okay, like you gotta do this x-ray thing, then you go to the next area. Sorry, but this area is variety in its own thing. We know the drill. Unscalable boss fight means one interaction point. Because of the weird seizures Scarecrow gives you during this boss fight, I'm instead of counting each inmate, I'm just gonna count one one group instead of one individual inmate. Because you can't use the levers, you gotta build the thing before you can use either the levers. Bruh. There we go, another level complete. I just faced the longest level in the game with 119 interactions on story mode. And, well, I managed to do so much less on free play. So you probably think I gotta collect all these chemicals before I have to move to the next area causing interaction points, but no, I only have to do one of them and that is the last one. <laughs> this isn't so bad, I could just fly across the board and then in the next area. <sighs> of course. Can I put one more on there? Okay, but for this next area, this in story mode, you this is when you get your first flying character, Superman, and you can't just fly across. You got this electric barrier in the way, but I didn't actually really need to turn it off. Watch. <laughs> Yeah, that was very effective, but I am not interaction free yet. I gotta deal with this elevator right here. The last area was pretty simple. I just had to destroy two things and then I'm all good. And there goes another completed level. gotten 45 total interactions on story mode. Finally, something in a multiple of five. Wow. Anyways, so, um, this isn't any different from free play. So, let's get one interaction point for the boss. And then let's, um, get two more because you gotta kill two henchmen helicopters in order to move on with the boss fight. This was like Chemical Crisis right here. You have to go all the way towards the end of this area or just level in general to actually having to interact with stuff. I thought I could just fly through this little pocket right here, but apparently that's a barrier, which means I had to interact with stuff to just get through that little pocket right there. Why did he even have to put that there? This final spot was simple. I'm not having to climb metal walls or having to grapple on anything, just like you do in story mode. I could just fly and then take care of all the stuff. Watch. And 
another level complete. Yeah, I got the 61 of uh, interactions on free play. And I got a... You, you don't want me to spoil it? Fine, okay, I won't spoil it. <laughs> As always, let's put a- oh, uh, thank you. This is very simple in, in free play because in story mode, well, I had to speed this whole th process up because it's quite long and I don't think I have enough time to just show you bits and pieces of it, so here you go. Speed it up, okay? Here we go. Story mode. Just to give you an idea on how long this boss fight really is. Oh my god, who the hell cares? Let's just go ahead and just some, um, well, prep the traps, and this is totally not just me exper experimenting to just see if you can just get the boss done and over with. That actually didn't work. Anyways, let's do a drive-by, a fly-by, and then a uh, sail-by? Wait, we can that actually exist? After the boss fight, we get this obstacle. Both this explosive thing, and then this x-ray we gotta get through. And then here is just a whole maze of just changing characters and stuff for story mode, but still very simple and free to play. And there we go, another level complete. Can we be done with this now? Alright, 75 different story mode interactions, and um, we got pretty close for a free play. You'll see what I mean in a minute. This part right here isn't any different than it is between from story mode and free play. Since this is technically not a boss fight, I counted every single possible interaction, so let's just put that in. I don't know why, but I thought I could use Flash to get past that door. Just if I could, was like fast enough work, I could just like glitch through, but obviously that didn't work. Right, now this doesn't get any less complicated. You see that thing right in front of you? Yeah, I gotta take that out because I couldn't just pass it. I had to like take that thing out before I could like pull those two levers right there in the back down so I can get to the next area. Make more interruption points. And now we will move on and pull those levers down. Hopefully those are the only two interactions that I'll have to do is right for, for like you know, right now, right? Uh, no. Ah, finally, something I can skip. I've been waiting for something like this. Let's go get Bane. Go get. Uh, okay, there he is. And Bane, get there. You go. Got that guy. Then we pull that thing. And um, some more complicated stuff. You know what, I'm, I'm just gonna skip this bit right here. I'll give you a number when I'm done with this area. And then, right after that, we can just Looney Tunes our way into the end of the level. first, but then actually it became quite easy on free play. Mr. Luthor is expecting you. Okay, 
Okay, so now- oh, oh, wait, can, can you remove that action point? We can actually skip this boss fight. Thank you. Anyways. How about we head over here to the back? And then blow up those five silver shiny things we can blow up. You can actually skip that boss fight. Now, this isn't so different from story mode. You still have lots of obstacles to uh, deal with. And I thought you could just skip all that. Not really. I, sp I still have to interact with the same things as I have to do in uh, story mode. So let's go going. Kill each of them. Now you think like in story mode, I'm gonna have to go through this whole process, destroying gold, building a suit, wearing the suit, and then using the suit to uh, flip the switch, or in this case, turn the switch. But no, just like in the first level, whatever that was called again, I actually don't can't remember off the top of my head, <laughs> I could just use flash to run fast enough before the camera could catch me. And then we'll keep repeating this process over and over and over again until we make it. But then this part of the level right here, you could just basically just skip it all, unlike the first time and then be in the next area. You only there was only really one interaction you actually had to do, and this is this gold panel thing right here. Is this karma for skipping a boss fight? Uh. And that's another level complete. I counted 39 different interactions on free play and spoiler alert free play was much harder than story mode was usually should be the other way around but not today yes i counted more interactions in this part just like i did last time with the plane to metropolis 19 interaction points Okay, so in story mode, you, it is not going to be so much different as it is in free play to complete it. But it's still difficult in free play. Because you gotta destroy that helicopter thing, you gotta build that, so make a suit. And then you gotta wear the suit, and then you can just shoot those silver, silver things right there. Now, on to the difficult part on free play. One eternity later. 
That was only three fourths of what I just blew up. I can't shoot through the gold yet. Now, there you go. Last piece destroyed. And then now let's get to the gold. There you go. And then we will pull this setting. Perfect. Now watch me struggle with the other side just like the first time. Two thousand years later. So much later that the old narrator got tired of waiting and they had to hire a new one. So, I got 50 interactions on story mode. Yeah, exactly 50. And, um, well, actually, we're kind of getting closer to getting done with this. Maybe just a few more levels and we're done. So, well, on to the free play now. Alright, this is more simpler. Usually that bull thing right there next to that outlet. In story mode, you'd usually have to pull that first. And then the power thing. And then, whatever, you, just whatever order you put it in. Even though the, I took out the power thing, I still couldn't pass this. So... Well, time to pull something. There you go. Okay, wh wh why are you building? I did not say you could build. Okay, fine. Let we're not going to count that, okay? Because I did not want to build that. Supergirl did. Okay? Get your head in the game, Supergirl! It's like I can't fly over anything right now. I can't even fly, fly over this flaming thing. So, more interaction points. Let's blow it out. That's why I killed these enemies. There you go. Clear it all up. There you go. Keep go. There you go. I want to assume that was Robin who destroyed that, because I, I couldn't actually see. So, okay, let's give that two points. Now let's go ahead and then go down that to know where that train was coming from. Can I stop it somehow? Maybe this gold? No. Maybe this lever? Oh yes, right, it is a lever! Alright, now let's go down here. Now, oh, hello, you! And now, because this is two pl two characters right here, we're we're gonna make we're gonna do you know two action points because it took the two of us to you know open the hand. Okay, so I want to make this an exception here because I know in the past I had there was like always layers. Of like gold or something that I already made it like in one action point but this is an exception because he's actually going to do something every time I destroyed one of them 
he's going to like actually attack. So let's make that the three interaction points here. Here in story mode, you have to like go through like this uh, other long line of interactions, get to the very end, and then, well, beat the level. But that will be a different story in free play because I'll just skip this whole thing and then be at the end of the level. Watch. That is another level complete. This actually feels satisfying because I'm like literally almost done on this project. <laughs> Alright, uh, 39 story mode interactions, okay? Now, in story mode, still lots of interactions, of course. Gotta go through this whole process. And I hope you're predicting that I'm just going to skip the whole thing. Yes, but it was still difficult, and you'll see why. Because when I do actually make it on top to where I'm supposed to be, like those two pressure plates right there, I step in one, switch to the next character, and then boom, you see them just jump off. So it got to the point where, yeah, I had to open the other character, or the other player, to get the job done. We are on top of City Hall, where we're gonna, you know, beat the thing, build that, and then build that. Luckily, we're in free play, so we just fly up to the helicopter instead of having to grapple on that thing, and then, well, running it, and then using the thing to flash stuff in its face. And there goes another level complete! Yay! Well, that's surprising. I only got six interaction points on story mode. Huh, let's see if we can get less on free play. Wait a minute, this is the exact same on story mode. You do the exact same thing! It's no different either way. Okay, let's just call it an end. I got 56 interactions on story mode, and now we're going to see if I can do a last on free play here in. Tower Defiance? I, 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 is that what it says? Now let's go off to, you know, move over here. Wait for that thing to go up. And then we can just pull the thing. There you go. Then we'll destroy these. And then finally we'll do the thing. Okay, this spot right here, I kind of struggle a little bit because, because before I discovered you could just go through the window, I thought you had to like go through that electric floor thing right there, but it looks like I didn't actually have to. But then here, of course, this is an interaction point. But I like one of the only ones too. 
Oh no, there's like one other one too. So it turns out in the story mode version of this level, you didn't actually need the hazard suit. It will be a bit of a struggle to get past, but you didn't actually need it. It's just there for some reason. Anyway, so um, yeah, let's go ahead and uh, take care of this thing right here. Destroy those two. Let's go get Green Lantern. Here we go. Build this. And then we hit him. Now we're, we're here, then you know, we, we could just walk past the fire and then turn that on without being burned. Hey, a boss fight! Look at me, sitting on top of the boss fight! We need to add an interaction point! Why do I do this? Finally, this boss fight for the level. And level complete. Finally, spending a whole month making this video, I finally reached the final chapter of this. 48 story mode interactions. Wait, wait a minute. This. I do the same amount of interactions just as, as I do on story mode. There isn't a special sauce to this. Like. You just do the exact same thing. Just like back in the. Uh, Core instability. Um, moving on. 